Hey there, and welcome back to the third episode of Let's Play Tribes Ascend with Goel. I am going to play a soldier again. Um, I've had better success with a soldier than with a juggernaut so far. Um, but with the XP I've gained up here in the top right, I'm going to buy the energy pack. Now, this improves my maximum energy pool by 20. Um, and I'm assuming, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this will let me jetpack fast uh, more before my energy runs out. It's going to do team deathmatch again, and uh, I think in my next video I'm going to start trying capture the flag. Um, so yeah, and with the soldier, I'm going to play with the assault rifle. Um, it's a little more forgiving for a new player, and uh, that will help me stay on target more. The trick with a lot of these weapons is that they're uh, they tend to there we go they tend to be like one shot and you either hit a lot or you miss and the nice thing with the assault rifle is that you can have kind of the best both worlds. Like in that case, you know getting some good hits on, on target it's just a lot more forgiving and I've had a lot more success with it. Wow, this is crazy. And there's a kill right off the bat. This is starting a lot better than my last episode. And uh, I really am interested in picking up the, uh, the clip upgrade for my assault rifle at some point. Um, those weren't the best shots to take right there, simply because um, he was so far away. It was fairly unrealistic that I was going to get a shot off. Now, there are a lot of guys near me, and this makes me nervous, just because it's like anything else. You want to be fighting in groups of allies um, and not against groups of enemies solo unless you're extremely good which I am not still learning this game so and there I go but I got a kill right off the bat and my team is doing well we are definitely ahead got into a good game this time um, so I'm gonna go oops so there is falling damage. I didn't actually know that, but there is falling damage. And I'm going to kind of go off here. I'm trying to avoid the main enemy group. Um, I'm concerned that, you know, I, with my current skill level, I want to be doing one-on-one um, -on -one fights as much as possible. Preferably more like fighting in a group against enemies. Um, which is why I'm interested in going after this guy. He's going after the flag which may help me. Um, and guy just showed up right in front of me. Auxiliary Priest. Um, and I've got another guy around here somewhere. Um, but I need some energy. I just need to get off the ground. Uh, this guy's really close. Oh! I got a ton of hits on him. I got a kill. I did get that kill right before I died. Um, and that's why I'm using the assault rifle. My last video, I tried the juggernaut, and uh, I don't like the weapons quite as much. They're not as forgiving, and right now I need a little... Um, forgiving is a good thing, because I, I actually do better. And there's another kill. See what I mean? Uh, it's So for, you know, for starting players, I highly recommend that you pick a weapon. You know, if you can use the stronger weapons, then do so. Oh, that was nice. Um, I'm surprised I didn't have enough damage to get an assist off of that, but that's okay. And, uh... So yeah, there's a match victory. And that time, I contributed, you know, I'm trying to remember, I think, I'm gonna guess 4 and 2? No, 3 and 2. Uh, first win of the day, that's a lot of XP. So there's another thing, too, is if you play consistently, um, you'll end up getting, you know, it, it's one of those things where playing every day will get you um, a healthy XP bonus. Because um, if you look, I earned 1,327 XP for that game, which was it was a short game, but I really earned 127 XP plus the 1,200 point bonus. So, you know, log in every day and, and win a match, and then, you know, that's actually a very efficient way to level up, especially for people who don't have a lot of time. So, and I do believe I ranked up to rank 3. Now, that map I hadn't played before. This map's called Quicksand, and I'm again going to play the Soldier, because that's... Oh, I have played this level before. 
Um, this is an interesting one. Mainly, sort of like this valley. Man, oh, those clouds are really, really cool. There's nothing like good skyboxes. Actually, that was one of my early complaints with WoW. was just like, you know... It was nice that the graphics could work for people for of all specs, but man, the skyboxes sucked until you know, around Cataclysm happened. So anyways, that aside, um, where did that guy go? There he is. Got a hit on. I'm trying to track this guy. Now, he's using a more powerful weapon, so even though he has less health, I do need to be careful because... Um, so close to killing this guy. Got him! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, you have to be concerned. It's hard... It's hard to, uh... hit people with the... at least for new players, with the beginning weapons. But the, the thing is, is that um, if you get a hit on somebody directly, it takes out a significant chunk of their health. And so... You know, that is a major consideration. Is just because you have someone down to low health does not necessarily mean that, uh, you know, you're out of danger and you're for sure going to win. So our team is starting out well. We're controlling the flag, it looks like, which is a major factor. Whoa, I'm going to back off a little bit. This guy's got me targeted, but I have allies coming in, which is really helpful. So if I can draw him, um, keep focusing on me. My allies are doing a great job of picking him off. And I got a good assist there. Switching to my offhand. See, there's a good hit on target. And there's a kill. See, I'm getting better at this game. And, you know, it just takes the right class to start off with. Now I want to try and grab this guy with the flag, because that is a major issue. If the enemy controls the flag, I got a hit on target, and there's an assist. I got an assist on on the flag carrier, so that's an excellent thing. And that's a major hit on target. That's a kill, and I'm out of ammo with that weapon. I'm out of ammo with this weapon. I need to grab some ammo. Okay, back in business. All right, so there's a guy with low health. Going to help. Okay, he's already dead. get a nice jump off of here. Oh, this guy just barely took out that enemy and got him. Doing very well this game. We have a good team. That's a major factor. Now, interestingly, I think you can climb up these, which seems like a legitimate strategy to me. I may... Yeah, I'll keep moving here. Now, I only have two shots with this, which means I need to go after some ammo. Now, you see the blue blinking lights. Oh, wow. Well, first and technically that wasn't a suicide but I'm pretty sure that was a suicide okay so right now because the enemy controls the flag every time they kill one of us we lose two reinforcements instead of just one um, it's a major major issue there's a turret there um, got a hit not a big one because the assault rifle Assault rifle is not about... Okay, there's three guys over there, so I'm going to back off and try and... Oh, there's a sniper up there. Interesting. Uh, that's a Sniper is a class you're going to lock later on. Um, just missed. Just missed. And this guy's right on top of me. And, yeah, I got taken out there. Now, because they're controlling the flag, things are getting a lot more even. Um, no, we have the flag in time since I was alive. Um, okay, this guy has low health. I want to go get him. Whoa. Now my momentum really helped me there. Now there's another guy with low health. And he's gone. Okay, I need to regen some health. Now because we're controlling the flag, we're getting the lead back. And a good strategy that I'm going to do is I'm going to work towards the ball carrier, uh, ball carrier, flag carrier. Um, you know, defending, it's not just a regular team deathmatch. You need to be protecting the ball, uh, flag carrier, excuse me, um, because people will be coming after him. Um, 
if you want to avoid getting hit by the really powerful single shot weapons, um, and quite a few of the weapons in this game qualify, the trick is to, uh, you want to be in the air as much as possible. Um, and the trick, I mean, skiing, good skiing technique is the, is the trick to do that. I'm still developing mine, so I'm not an example of this necessarily. But the thing is, is when you're aiming down, it's much easier to hit someone if they're with one of those weapons. Hey, there's an assist. If their feet are touching the ground. Hey, that was some, some good hits from long range. There's a match victory. So, two good games um, to make up for the two really sucky games from the last episode. Um, went 4-2 and two with three assists and uh, earned 242 XP. So that will be it for this episode of Let's Play Tribes Ascend. Please, uh, if you like these videos, subscribe, like the videos, and uh, I would love to hear from you, comments, um, whatever you like. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.